one? Uh, I want you to wait a minute. I forgot something at the bar, okay? What? What is it? It's a surprise. Hurry back. Raphael Zolan? Yeah? Son of a bitch! Get him! Get loose! Okay. Lover, for another hundred bucks, we can do anything you want. Sounds <laughs> good. How's my sweetest thing? I'm scared, Bob. Well, look. Now be sweet. Right? Sweet thing. Come on. Let's do it. Hey, baby, let's go make a party. You got money? Sure do. Come on, I ain't got all night. No. Oh, what's... No! Hey! Hey, where do you think you're going? Mama, Mama, you cost me money, all right? Look, you said you'd do this for me. Now you gotta do it! I can't, Paul. That's enough! Yeah, yeah, hey, hey! No problem, my brother! Luann, your mother sent me. She wants you to come home. I'm gonna send you both back home tomorrow. Like that. Oh, God. Oh. The broken nose is for the girl. The vasectomy's free. Come on. Here's what we agreed on, Mr. Dillon. Plus some extra. Keep it. I don't charge to take out the garbage.
Mommy just loves you. You're such a dear. Times. In the box. I'm a fan too. Do you think my love can make it to number one? My dress is short enough in the video, I mind. Are you still planning to tour Europe later this fall? Well, yes, sure. You put the boys there. Are so hot for me. And what about an American tour? Oh, I think I could uh, spank up some interest in that. <laughs> are you going to renew your contract with Eddie D'Angelo at the end of the month? We make no public statements about contracts. How long have you known that Eddie D'Angelo's record label has mob connections? No comment. Got him burnt. How do you think it went? You were fantastic. They loved you. No, really? Really. You know, after all this time, it still makes me really hot to feel a crowd like that, you know? <laughs> like payback for all the bullshit. You mean D'Angelo? Him, my father, everything. I have a feeling everything's gonna turn out just fine. Yeah, I notice you've been stupidly optimistic since Eric proposed. I can't help it. That's what happens with true love. I wouldn't know. What's that? Some punk's idea of good taste in greeting cards? This is Shauna. I'm Barbara Glenn. A friend of yours. Excuse me. That's all for today, class. See you Saturday. You finished? Shauna. Look, lady, I don't know what your problem is, and I don't care. See, I told you this was a bad idea. Why don't we just split? Wait a minute. 
Listen, Mr. Dillon, if you give me one minute, I'll explain to you why we're here. And then if you still want us to leave, we'll go. Go ahead. A Lieutenant Sturgis recommended you to us. And we used to be partners. So he said. You know the Wall Berlin? Yeah, it's a yuppie club on the west side. It's the place for hot and rock acts to appear. Shauna started there last night. Congratulations. After the show, there was a box in the dressing room. There was a woman's finger in the box with the ring still on it. What did Sturgis think? It was just some wacko showing his love or something. If the police are on this case, what do you need me for? Protection. Look, I'm not a bodyguard. Stick with the police. Shauna doesn't like cops. I used to be a cop. Yeah, but you quit. Why? I had my reasons. What do you have against cops? My father was a cop. So was mine. Your father raped you? Excuse me. Hello? Hello, Jack. Sturgis. Hi, Will. What's up? Uh, listen, I need a favor. Sure. I got a multiple homicide at the Rand Inn. Six stiffs in one room. They were all beaten to death. I'd like you to come over and take a look. I can meet you there in 15 minutes. Great. Uh, by the way, did that rock star show up? She's here now. Good. I'd have her go over to the station. I'll meet her there. Right. That was Sturgis. He wants you to meet him at headquarters. So, will you take my case? Go to the station. I'll call you later. Come on, Sean. Listen, the bodies were discovered this morning. I just got here myself. It's up on the fourth floor. I'd like you to take a look. Hey, Sean. Lieutenant. Hey, Jack. Bad news. Some reporter was here when this broke. One of the guys says it's all over the radio. Oh, great. Now every wacko in the state's gonna come claim credit for this. Jack, good to see you. You back? Just observing, Carl. What you got? Five guys, all packing iron, all of them killed by blows to various vital spots on their body. Not one of them got their gun out except for this guy. He got a broken arm for his trouble to go with his broken neck. You mind? You'll be my guest. What do you think? Martial arts expert. Professional killer. What time did they die? We won't know for sure to the autopsy, but judging from the lividity of the limbs, 1 a.m. What about the woman? 3, 3.30. What woman? You haven't been next door? Uh-uh. Right. We think it's the same guy, even though the M.O. is different. You had breakfast yet? No. Good. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just been a while. Welcome back. The guy who visited the Rock Club last night left the same calling card. Hey, hey man, you can't go in there. This is police. Shanna, we're going to the chapel. Oh, my God. Oh. Look at me. You're going to be okay. Come on. Better? How do you know we're at the hotel? The uh, radio. They were screaming about this murdered woman and a queen of spades left on the body. I just wanted to see it for myself. You did. Yes. Thanks. I really 
real name's Carrie. Carrie Farland. Glad to meet you, Carrie Farland. What do you think? You own this place? Nice. Thanks. Hi, Carrie. Hey, I brought a friend. Well, hello. Hi. Listen, I gotta go take a shower. We need to be up in Hollywood at 8 for that rehearsal, okay? Shauna convince you? She helped. She usually does. Well, make yourself at home. Dinner will be ready in a few. You live here? We grew up together, best friends. And now you work for her? I watch out for her. That makes two of us. I'll get it. What's up? Hey. Cool. Thought you'd like to know, we ID'd those five stiffs at the hotel. One of them was Rafael Zolan, local guy. He and his brother Emil made the big times as arms dealers. Let's pay the brother a visit in the morning. Got it. And the lab tested that finger. Belonged to the female victim at the hotel. She was a hooker. Same guy did both murders. Yeah. Still drawing a blank on these cars, though. Will, do me a favor. Hold the fort here. There's someplace I gotta go. I'll meet you at the video studio. Well, what, what? What a minute. What do I look like? A fucking babysitter? You're welcome. The baddest mercenary on earth. The last night avenged our friends who bought it in Africa. The same man who saved all our asses in Angola. John Sweet. Yeah, here, 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 John. John. here you go, John. Have you seen anybody in here lately with one of these? We don't give out information about our friends here. Especially the foreign-looking creeps like you. How about you? <laughs> Is that a no? <laughs> Anybody else? my dental work all right all right all right i'll tell you his name is john john sweet where does he live i don't know I said, jesus christ come on let me go I, I, I don't know he comes in here twice a week with the rest of the war jocks what about the card uh, it's a deadhead card in vietnam we used to put it on the bodies of the dead con you just scared the hell out of him you're lying to me I'm coming back. <sighs> oh. 
All right, people, let's clear the set for this rehearsal. Song's called Love Rocket. Everything okay? Yeah, but where the hell have you been? I found out who our boy is, John Sweet. About 6'5", blonde hair, 250 pounds. All right, I'll call it in. Hey, Will. Thanks. I owe you one. Yeah, well, call my wife. Tell her why I didn't make dinner. It wouldn't help. You're right. Maybe. Jack Dillon, this is Bobby Machado. He manages me in uh, more ways than one. So, uh, you're the cop, huh? Ex-cop, yeah. You can do this job? Protect my baby? Shauna thinks so. She hired me. But now, I'm asking you. I can do the job. You better. Hey! What the hell's the star, huh? I ain't paying you turds to screw around all night. Sorry, Mr. Machado. You said to wait for Mr. D'Angelo. Screw Mr. D'Angelo. If he can't get his ass in gear, then... <laughs> Eddie! Hey! Bobby? Ah, princess. Mmm, hello, princess. You all right? Oh, yeah, Eddie, fine, sure, thanks. They're gonna catch this scum, you know, this finger business is terrible. Now, look, if you need anything, anything at all, you just let Eddie know. Yeah, okay, Eddie, sure. Um, Jack Dillon, Eddie D'Angelo, my back. Mr. D'Angelo and I have met five years ago, wasn't it, Eddie? Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. A big money laundering bust. Yeah, right. Misunderstanding, as I recall. Charges were brought, charges were dropped. Uh, <laughs> water under the bridge, yeah? C'est la vie. They're pushing me, Dylan. So push back. Eddie, Eddie, come on. The guy's just jerking your chain. Let's get this rehearsal done, okay? Come on. Right, of course. You're right, Bobby. You're right. We'll watch from the booth, Princess. Okay. So you still want me on this case? Especially now. Welcome to the zoo. I made her. I put her in my clubs. I paid for all those articles and all those rock magazines. And now, just when she's starting to get hot, she wants to dump me, huh? And go with somebody else? That's not right. And it ain't gonna happen. I know it's not fair to Yeti, and if you just give me another day, I'll make sure she does what's right. Two days, Bobby. Her contract is up in two days. If she doesn't sign by tomorrow, I am taking matters elsewhere. Do you understand? Yeah. Good. Good. You had enough. Oh, 
Yes, she is. You in love with her yet? It's nothing to be ashamed of. It happens to every guy who gets near her. I'm not every guy. Sean has had a tough life. Her father used her, D'Angelo used her, even Bobby used her. I just keep wondering if there's somebody real inside. There is. You just have to watch out until you find her. Thanks for the warning. No way, Bobby. I don't owe you or I any, don't any. Bobby. The fact is, Eddie made us. Now he wants to collect back. Is that so wrong? No. What's wrong is he's the same kind of scum I've been trying to get away from since the day I was born. Yeah, well, that scum bought us this big expensive house you like so much. He even bought these designer rags you're wearing. Bullshit, Bobby. I bought this stuff with my body and with my voice. He doesn't own me and neither do you. This isn't your affair. I'm making it mine. This is a family matter, and you're not family. I'll be in my truck. You better get your head straightened out, because I'm not going to put up with this bullshit. Oh, yeah? Well, the front door will be locked when you get back. There's a uh, something you should know about Bobby and I. We've been lovers off and on for about eight years. I give him the right to hit you. He took me away from my father. Maybe saved my life. So why'd you come out here? I'm inviting you back in. I'll pass. You are a real cop. need a little bit more time. The big problem is this guy Dylan she hired. Son of a bitch. Eddie, she would have already signed except for that fucking detective Bobby, sticking his nose in. Bobby, you relax. Pacing back and forth. You're giving me indigestion. All right, sit down. Now look. You need another 24 hours, you got it. But remember, I stand to lose two million dollars that I invested in her. My people aren't going to like that. All right? I can convince her, Eddie. I hope so, Bobby. I hope so. For both our sakes. Jeremy. Time to set a hit. Just the woman? No. No, I want Dylan, too. And Dino. Tell him I want a ring finger. No guns. Should look like the psycho did it. Now, Lynn, you take three and go in through the front. John, you take two and go in through the back. Now, you kill everybody in the house. Remember, quick and clean, and don't forget the trophy.
was that? I don't know. Let's get out of here. Are you okay? Yes. Call the police. Is Barbara okay? She's fine. Just make the call. Forensics, I need a report as soon as they can get it to me. Okay? Yes, sir. It's quite a mess. She's getting to be awfully popular. Do you recognize any of them? No, but they were pros. Any idea who did it? Yeah, but I can't prove it. Yeah. Who killed the three in the back? That's another thing. Sweet was here. He took out the three. Why? He's protecting Shana, saving her for something. I'm gonna park a car here just in case he comes back, but you better find another place to keep him. We'll stay at my place. It's trouble. Shirt. I noticed. Never looked that good on me. Why'd you quit being a cop? One night we got a call to a domestic quarrel. By the time we got there, some guy had killed his wife. He jumped me and I almost killed him. Later I realized I wanted to kill him. So I quit being a cop. And you started this? Why? Help others. Help myself, maybe. Make the world a better place. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that must be Will. Morning, Will. Morning. Hi. I've got to go. Go where? We're checking out some leads on Sweet. There's two plainclothes officers parked in the white car across the street. Look, just lock the door after we leave. You and Barbara stay here until I get back, okay? I called. Zolan's at the warehouse. I didn't notice the boyfriend at your house last night. Stayed at the hotel. Me and the girl fighting. Ignorant pinhead! Glad to see you become a low-stress driver, Will. Oh, yeah, with that babe at your house, you should talk. Anything new on Sweet? Oh, uh, yeah, I ran him through the FBI computer. His father's from Wiesbaden, Germany. He lived there till he was 10, then he came here to live with his mom. When he was 12, his mother was raped and killed in front of him. He killed the rapist with his own knife. Rapist cut off the ring finger? Yeah. He joined the Special Forces when he was 18. Martial arts expert. And then he disappeared for 10 years. He resurfaced most recently in Angola. Mercenary. Yeah. He was arrested in Angola in conjunction with the murder of a prostitute. Her ring finger was severed. He was uh, released for lack of evidence. Now he wants Shanna. It's not just another case to you, is it? No. Never get emotionally involved, Jack. That was always our rule. Sometimes you have to break the rules. Yeah, and sometimes the rules break you.
hell are you? Get out of my office now or I'll call the police. I am the police. Then I'll call my lawyer. We don't have time for that. We want sweet. I don't have to tell you nothing. So don't touch that. That's pre Columbian. Look, Sweet killed your brother and four bodyguards two nights ago. Why? I don't know what you're talking about. It's nice. Looks priceless. Oh, no. It is now. Uh, Sweet will kill me if I tell you anything. Please, no. No, 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 it's not. Rafael hired him to lead a revolt on Angola. And everything blew up when the Cubans stepped in. And Rafael withdrew his support. And left Sweet and his friends holding the bag. So Sweet came back to America to find Rafael. And to kill women. Sweet's address, now. All oh, right, right. Now. Right. The Sweet's best friend. It's a guy named uh, Rene. And if anybody can find him, he will. Yeah. Oh, no. No. No, no, I paid a thousand dollars on it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. When I heard the song, I knew it was you, mother. Get out. I'm gonna leave now because I hate to see people bleed unnecessarily. Where? Eat shit and die. I told you you should have told him. Come on. We're gonna get in your ass! You're off to a hell of a good start. Sweet's gonna kill you! He's welcome to try. I didn't 
a time or a place oh, But I knew someday I would I love you oh. Oh. I love you What are you packing? Elephant gun? This guy scares me, Jack. Me too. How do you want to handle this? Front door, fire escape. Take your pick. I'll take the front door. Just like old times, huh? Just watch your ass. You watch it for me. You're three minutes to get set. Son of a bitch. I'm sorry, Jack. Are you gonna be okay? 
Is there anything else you can tell us? No. Look, we, uh, we can't find his badge. It looks like the guy took it. Why don't you go home and we'll call you. What's wrong? Hey. Oh my God, Will Sturge just killed this afternoon. Who did it? Sweet. Is there anything I could do? Just leave me alone. Jeremy. Jimmy. I hire you guys because um, you're supposed to be the best. I end up with uh, six dead and uh, the bitch and Dylan still breathing. Well, no excuses, Mr. D'Angelo. But Dylan broke lucky. He was out in his car and got in behind us. <laughs> it was a fluke. Fluke my ass. Stupid son of a bitch. Now I want her dead before 10 o'clock tonight. You capiche? You leave it to us, Mr. D'Angelo. We'll handle it personal this time. That's good. That's good. Because if you don't, I am going to take a gun, shove it up your ass, and blow your brains out. <laughs> Wipe that silly smile right off your face. Specialist. Your love is my love. I'll never let go of you, darling. Don't you know that your love is my love? I'll never let That's go. That's all. What about it? Is it one of yours? It's my cut of an old 60s tune called My Love. It was playing at Sweet's house. This afternoon, we killed Will. So what are you going to do? I'm going to take him out. We've got to get to the studio. Where's Barbara? She went to San Francisco. She promised she'd drive straight through. How long ago did she leave? About a half an hour after you got here.
Okay, people, that's a wrap. Eddie wants us out of here early. Call time tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Dylan, I'm, uh, you did good last night. Hey, look, you don't like me, I don't like you, whatever. But you gotta understand how the vibe is with me and Shanna. See, she, um, she likes all that rough stuff. Well, sure, I get mad and smack her around once in a while, but that's her thing. It really makes her hot, you know what I mean? If you lay hands on her again, I'm gonna break them off and ram them down your throat. You vibe that? to talk. Can it wait? Now. Where are you going? Let's split. Bobby still wants me to sign with D'Angelo. He says I should do it now before, before I blow our chance. What's wrong? Trouble. Fasten your seatbelt. Boys, let's make sure. Eddie sends his love. Circle around.
is this? Dad was a cop, remember? Wait here. Gentlemen, <clears throat> toast. Frank Ellis here for uh, arriving on such short notice. And to the best dead singer in the whole world. Oh, you're here. Yeah. The fuck is that? You got past Jeremy and his friend. Very impressive. I'd like you to meet um, Frank Ellis. You fight well. You were a great champion. I saw you fight in New York City once. What are you doing with this scum? I'll give you one chance to leave. What the hell? We had a deal. I had to do this my way. Go home. This goes all the way. Oh! <gasps> 
You already made one mistake tonight, Eddie. Don't make another. Second mistake. We shouldn't be here. This is home. I need to be home right now. Okay, wait right here. Bobby and I are finished. Don't play games with me now. Bobby and I are finished. Here, you better keep this.
I didn't know about the Angela. my best man he'll come you sure nobody saw her no they think this is just about getting dylan for what he did to them back at the bar well, i'll be done in a minute
can stop you. If you want her, take her. Let's get out of here. 